I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope forecast for you Capricorn for the week of July the 18th. Okay, so we have a full moon this week, early in the week of the night in, in our sign, in Capricorn, okay, which means the sun and the moon are directly opposite. So we've got the moon in Capricorn and the sun opposite in Cancer, which is the Capricorn um, area of relationships okay so uh, very much intimate relationships but can be all relationships now we've got mars sitting in our area of friendship so uh you know it's not unrealistic to think that we could meet somebody at the moment that we have a good chemistry with as well as the potential to be um have a strong friendship and let's face it the best relationships are full of uh, love, lust, and friendship, okay? So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm blushing a little bit there, but yeah, that, I, that's true. I'm sure you'll agree with that. Um, Capricorns can be quite smoldering. You know, we're not all about business. You know, we, we do like uh, a little passion as well. Now, uh, we do still have the influence of the square between the sun and um Uranus. So this is around a home and family area and a relationship that we have with somebody close. So there's, you know, almost a little bit of a conflict going on there. But what it can do, but coupled with the full moon, is it really helps us gain clarity of a situation or person in our life and how, you know, for us to feel better about perhaps a decision that we've made or a decision that we're going to make, okay? The full moon allows us or helps us, or the energy of it helps us to put the things behind us that are no longer working. Now that doesn't mean to say necessarily that we need to cut ties and move on. <coughs> Excuse me. It can mean that we, we renew the energy of a relationship. So it's you know better for us. And um, there's a great deal of... Um, communication going on as well in this area in a very passionate area of our chart so uh, there's two uh, aspects with Saturn Saturn being our ruling planet in our 12th house so with Saturn in our 12th house it really gets us to think deeply about you know why we're here who we're doing it with you know what we're doing who we're doing it with and the full moon helps us to really make some changes and gain some clarity and start to put that into place more. I hope that sort of makes sense to you. Now, uh, with Saturn, the two aspects that are coming up are both trines, so the favorable, beneficial type, soft aspects. One is with Venus. Let's not forget, Venus is the planet of love and money. It's in sitting in our eighth house. So it sort of is love, lust, passion, and money. Okay, so it can go either way. It can be to do with partnerships to, that are going to be beneficial to us financially, or it can be to do with the love relationship. The other one is with between Saturn, it's with Saturn and Mercury, communication planet. I like this very much. Now let's not let's look at well, Saturn because Saturn is retrograde. Okay. So when Saturn is retrograde, uh, I mean, it's already a slow moving, cautious, you know, think through <clears throat> energy. When it's retrograde, it can bring somebody in from the past. All right, so putting all that together, someone from the past can come together with business, with a project that's going to be financially viable for us. Let's hope so. Um, or, you know, you could have a, a lover from the past that going to come back or renew let's not forget I said that the full moon <clears throat> endings and beginnings doesn't mean that you have to close off and walk away from something uh, it means that it, it can it can mean that but it can also mean that you can renew um, a situation or relationship so you know all good all right, so I hope that uh, I can certainly relate to pretty well all of that in my life. I hope you can too. And uh, I hope it works out really well for each and every one of us. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Good luck this week. See you next week.